Police service number 38731, AAC1, A. Aliu. Parade commander, parade commander of the Nigerian Coastal Service, Tikan Island Port. The area controller, Tikan Master Parade Pomo. 256 officers ready for your inspection, sir. It is a statement of fact that through the contribution of everybody here, we've done so well in our revenue drive. Let me start from this month of July. As of this morning, revenue collected so far on the 1st of July up to this moment is 94 billion. I think I should commend all of you for that. It's not yet the end of the month, but we've been able to rake in 94 billion naira. It's particularly gratifying if you consider that by this time, 2023, indeed for the entire month of July 2023, we're able to collect 75 billion naira. That means you've surpassed last year revenue of July by over 20 billion. I want to congratulate all of you, even though it's not yet the end of the month. Let me say that one is not enough. Where two is possible. Granted that we have been able to collect this much before the end of the month. I still want to believe that we can do better than this. I've seen a number of you this morning familiar faces, agile officers. Some of you I have known for several years as being facilitators of trade and people that are passionate about Nigeria's customs service. Therefore, having such qualities and antecedents, and antecedents, I expect that we can do better than this. Yes, let me repeat. One is not enough. We are two is possible. I want to thank the senior officers here present for your leadership and also wish to remind you once again that every officer here that is below your rank is your direct responsibility. You owe them a duty to mentor them. And mentorship here is not just about raking in revenue and enforcing anti smuggling operations. It should also be about showing empathy through emotional intelligence and helping them to take care of their various families. As we all know, the global economy is in their strength. And every little thing you do to help humanity counts. And of course, you cannot help humanity except you start from your immediate environment. Therefore, I urge you senior officers to take it as a responsibility. And for you that are below the junior officers, my doors are open. My phone numbers are available to you. I want to receive feedback from you about how you are faring. Much as we are doing our best to help the economy of the nation, we should also be prepared to take care of our health, our psychological state of mind, and most importantly, our physical well-being. The field where we are today is open for sports every Thursday. For those that doesn't come here on Thursdays, make sure that in your immediate area of responsibility, you create time every Thursday to engage in sports, even if it is for just 20 minutes. We cannot afford to have officers that will be sick at this time when all hands are supposed to be on deck for the sake of the nation. Let me thank the media people that have always been supporting us for their presence. What we are doing here is a collective responsibility. The job of taking care of the national economy shouldn't be left for Nigerian Customs Service alone. 
every stakeholder, including you, the media, is involved. Therefore, we want to ask you to pass this message to our esteemed stakeholders that when we declare the year 2024 as the year of stakeholders in Tinkan Island Port Command, we meant every word of it. Our doors are open to satisfy and encourage every compliant trader. But at the same time, we will shoot out our red eyes for every non-compliant trader. This message is said without equivocation. Let the message be passed that much as we are ready to comply, to support, to improve the services of every compliant trader, we are also ready to face the bull for those who are not complying. I want to thank all of you once again and remind you that parade is a test of endurance.